Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for October 17th of 2024 is titled The Clipper and the Comet. So what do we see here? Well, here we see two things. On the left, we see the rocket launching NASA's Europa Clipper. Now, this craft was recently launched and is currently heading out toward Mars. Now, its eventual destination is Jupiter, but it won't get there directly. And that's because craft like this use the gravity of other planets to, to pick up speed to be able to get out to their destination faster. So it will actually go to Jupiter, go to Mars first, then back, come back to Earth, and then back to Jupiter, then finally out to Jupiter. So while it will take a little bit longer to get there than if it was sent directly, it does save a lot on fuel able to make the craft less expensive to be able to get out there. So it will is expected to arrive at Jupiter and enter orbit in 2030. So we have about six years to wait for this mission to get there. Its idea is to study Europa. Europa is one of the four large moons of Jupiter and is one that is really a water world. So its surface is covered in ice, but measurements from previous craft have shown that there is a large ocean of liquid water down below that surface. And that's what we want to study more. Now, if we look at it, we actually know that the ocean below Europa's surface is actually more water than there is here on Earth. So if you take all the water on Europa, there is more water there than there is on our entire Earth. So it has quite a bit of water. It also has organic compounds. So the whole idea is to be able to study this orbiting closer and closer to Europa and using various scientific instruments to study and learn what may be there on Europa, what may exist below the surface. Now it will not actually land there, but it will get close enough to within about 25 kilometers of the surface. So it will get very close. It's not just going to orbit from a distance. It's going to get down very close to hopefully learn more about the geology on Europa as well as what that ocean may be like. Now, of course, we don't only see the rocket there. We also see off to the right a comet. And that is the comet known as Chuchinshen Atlas that we've been looking at over the last couple of weeks and is now relatively visible in the evening sky. So if you look to the west shortly after sunset, the comet is there. Now it can be more easily picked up with things like a camera or a pair of binoculars because it's still in the still close to the glare of the sun but can actually be seen with the naked eye so you don't need any other aids to see it if you know where to look toward the west right after sunset close to the horizon. So that was our picture of the day for October 17th of 2024. It was titled The Clipper and the Comet We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day, everyone, and I will see you in class.